what's up YouTube welcome back to the channel today we are back again in Melrose um, Los Angeles area if you've seen some of my other videos or if you know me personally you will know that I spent some time here in um, this Melrose Street because of a store um, by the name of round two or other stores like cool kicks these stores you're able to bring in your goods and sell trade or purchase um, what they call hype items so what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be selling or trying to sell um, some of the stuff that I have some shoes some clothes that I've been kind of holding on to and I'm gonna be trying to get some cash or see if they have a specific item that I am looking for. Um, sometimes what I do is when I'm able to get things for retail, such as like a box logo shirt, for example, or a particular shoe that um, it has resale value, I'll hold on to it. And when something comes out that I, for whatever reason, want, I will come to this store and I will try to trade it in for that item. What I like about this store is that they give you a price cash if they want your item or they give you a price uh, for store credit. So typically store credit is a little bit more than if you take the cash, you know. So um, today um, I'm looking to get uh, the Nike Mars Yard shoes um, I don't know they have them here I've seen them here but they probably are sold out but I did find someone that got lucky yesterday from um, and I and was able to get a pair from Union Los Angeles in my size and his price is not that bad now the thing here is I'm going to try to sell some of the stuff that I have hoping that I can make enough money to get that um, product and I'll be showing you guys some of the stuff that I'm gonna be trying to see um, if I can unload and you let me know if I'm stupid or if I should have kept or what the hell are you doing? But um, yeah, that's just kind of a general overview of what's going on today. I would thank you guys for tuning in, man. I'll see you guys a little the later. CBG um, box logo shirt that I got last year for retail. Um, gonna see what what what, what they give me for this. Another item is this um, box logo reflective. This one right here, I'm probably not gonna let go. I'm just bringing it just in case. Um, because, yeah, this is something special to me. What I'm get for it is this Supreme um, North Face uh, fleece from like 2016, if I'm not mistaken. Um, some of this stuff has sentimental value. Like, I don't really wanna let go of, for whatever reason, of these um, zebras because I always really like them. This right here. I'm like whatever about because um, it's kind of harder to rock when I mean, I'm in Los Angeles so some of this stuff you know I can't even wear. Analog colorway, um, these are a size four and a half, see what they offer or if they offer any. And finally this small, um, what this thing is called, um, Ghost Rider team that dropped this one. Alright man we'll see how it goes. All right guys, so unfortunately inside round two, I was not able to film and that is because I was by myself and another reason because I was in my zone. When you go inside, you're kind of negotiating with the person in the front trying to get the right amount of money that you want for your items. So just a quick overview. What did I actually sell from the things that I actually took in? Well, first, I was able to sell the North Face jacket. They gave me $375, or I had the option to get $420 in store credit. Now, the second item that I sold was a CDG box logo black t-shirt with tags. They gave me $280 in cash and with the option of $300 in store credit. Now, the final item that I sold was a Ghost Rider orange t-shirt. They gave me a lousy $50 for that shirt or the option for $60 in store credit. Now, they did offer me money for the other items that I took in there, but in reality, I really didn't need it because I made enough money just by selling those couple items that I really was not attached to. Now, let me take you back to the regular program. There is no bad weather, only inappropriate clothing. Anyways, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This part of the video, I'm just going to be focusing on showing you guys the product that I have here. 
uh, the, the, the space boots, the Mars boots, um, the Tom Sachs 3.0, whatever the name they are going um, with now in days. Just to kind of give you guys a quick overview, I showed you guys some of the clothing that I took to round two to see if they were willing to buy them off of me. Uh, they didn't have this particular shoe at round two. You know what? They actually did. They had one pair, but it was not my pair. This pair that I have in hand, I found um, from a guy that uh, I had connections with and connections to and he had my size so that's why I went to round two to see if I could get rid of some of the stuff that I personally had and um, obviously by the looks of it I was successful enough to get rid of some of my pride possessions to get my hands on this shoe um, with that being said I was lucky enough to only get rid of two items that gave me enough money to get my hands on this particular shoe anyways to continue going on, um, this is the box, man. This is a huge ass box. Um, if you look, you have all sorts of writing in the box. In the box, Mars Yard Overshoe from SAC. Um, waterproof, enough, not waterproof, water resistance, water resistance test 100%, static waterproof test 100%, yada, 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 all sorts of things. Mars, Mars Yard overshoe and uh, a huge alien ship on the bottom and a little piece of earth down at the bottom uh, interesting interesting box inside um, the box we have obviously the tissue paper and then we get to the shoes there is a nice quote that I'm looking at right here that is kind of cool theories are patterns without value what counts is action Pretty dope, man. Tom Sack uh, went all out with his um, quoting on this box. But anyways, here is what we have in hand, man. This particular shoe is really interesting and unique. Probably the most unique shoe I've ever came across in my young life of living. Um, retail for $550. Um, that is a pretty penny obviously right now resale is not that crazy resale they are going in stock eggs are going for about eight hundred dollars after taxes and fees you're taking home about six hundred and sixty three dollars and fifty nine cents um, if you sell it at that price now i was lucky enough and i was able to manage to get this kid to sell me this pair of shoe for about less than stock x so i was able to come out with a win um there you know and not give up so much um to go ahead and get them um right off the bat the material is this hard kind of imagine the ikea bags imagine that right here but 10 times stronger 20 times stronger 40 times stronger whatever it is i guess this is a material that is water resistance not waterproof water resistance um you have some buckles that are magnets to i don't know because i've tried them on and they don't really tie my shoe or it doesn't feel more comfortable than anything but they are there they look cool um they actually the straps look really cool when you cut the whole bag down and um you leave the straps on. Anyways, moving forward, the sole and the bottom of the sole is this crazy looking kind of blue. The shoe doesn't come with shoelaces. There is a strap that you have here that you're able to pull, you know, to give you some leverage, stick your feet inside, and then you pull down and it ties your shoe for you. I think it's pretty interesting. Another interesting part of this shoe is that you have a bag over a shoe. In other words, there is a shoe underneath it. So I'm gonna post a picture on some of the pictures that I've seen online, how the shoe looks when you go ahead and rip this plastic um, type of material out of the shoe. I'm kind of torn in between just because I don't necessarily know what I'm gonna do with this um, particular shoe. I don't know if I'm gonna cut it. I don't know if I'm gonna sit on the shoes for a long time and see what they do. Um, I don't know if I'm just gonna leave it 
the same way, but there is a shoe in there, and that is one of my favorite shoes of all time. So th that is one of the reasons why I went ahead and got this pair, just in case I decide to tear everything up, because I can't get my hands on those pairs, because those pairs, if I want them, they're going for about $3,000, and I am not willing to spend $3,000 dollars um for that pair of shoes so this is the closest to it uh but i had to set up for a space boot and then rip it around uh to get to the shoe that i actually want but if the world does end anytime soon and we do decide to travel to mars i am kind of somewhat prepared um uh, and i have my space boots before i let you go um it did come with two inside soles for the shoe. It has some little cushions on the bottom that I'm assuming makes the shoe more comfortable. The shoe, I would say, runs a little big, but if you are looking to get this shoe, I would say size down half a size or even a full size. I don't think you'll have a problem with it. Again, if this is a shoe that you are interested in buying, I've seen some dope people rock this shoe. I, I understand this shoe looks weird. Some people are, are against this shoe. I've seen negative comments about the shoe, but I have seen some people rock this shoe really, really dope. Boom, 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 boom. These are some pictures that I've seen where I think the shoe looks dope with the bag or without the bag. Totally your call. But um, yeah, man, thank you guys for watching and tuning in to one of my trade-in um, series that I have here on YouTube. Again, my name is Angela Zane. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment any questions down below. See you guys next time, bro.